Today, let's look at our comms radio frequency procedures on our Garmin 750. You'll notice in the upper left-hand corner of the display, there are two frequencies that are stacked. The upper frequency is your comm active frequency, and the lower is your standby frequency. If you want to put the standby into the active box, you simply touch the active box, and you'll notice they switch positions. Now, I should mention that the frequency in the active box will only transmit if you have the correct radio selected in your mic box. Now, since this is radio number one, this will be the frequency that will be used when pressing your transmit button. If you want to enter a known frequency, you can press the standby box and then enter your known frequency. And then we press enter. But let's say we don't know what the needed frequency is. For our example today, we're on the ground at the Heber Airport in Utah. In the middle portion of the display, you see our home page. And we can always get back to this by pressing the home button in the upper right hand corner of the unit. If we need frequencies for the airport we're at, uh, the easiest way to do that is to either press nearest or waypoint info on your home page. Uh, for this example, we'll use uh, waypoint info. Then we press airport. Then we press frequencies and the available frequencies for that airport will appear. Uh, if we want to use one of these frequencies, like in this example, if we wanted to listen to the weather, we could press AWOS frequency and it will appear in your standby window. Then we press the upper com box and it becomes active. Now, once we finish listening to the weather, we can activate the Unicom frequency by first pressing the Unicom frequency and then pressing the upper com box to make it active. On today's flight, we're gonna be going to Provo Airport. Uh, this airport is close, so let's see if it's in the nearest list. So we'll press the home button, and then we press nearest, then airport, and you will see a list of uh, airports in the area. Uh, we're going to choose Provo, which is Kilo Papa Victor Uniform. So let's load the ATIS for a Provo by pressing the Provo identifier, then frequencies, and then ATIS. Now we have that ready to use when we're on our way to Provo. This method to get frequencies can also be used when close to arriving at our destination airport. But let's say the airport is not close. Let's say Moab, Utah. So first let's press the home button. Then we press waypoint info, airport. Then we press the identifier box and we put Moab in, which is Kilo Charlie November Yankee. And then we press enter. I hope you enjoyed our introduction to the Garmin 750 COM radio frequency procedures. And we'll see you at the next Eurosafety tutorial.